people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the brand new gameplay trailers, teasers, and info regarding FNAF X Funko Fusion. Recently, San Diego Comic Con happened, and while everyone else is talking about Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom, we're going to be talking about Omni-Man from Invincible as a Funko Pop visiting Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So if you're excited, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, but in case you're unaware, what exactly is Funko Fusion? Well, Funko Fusion is described as a four-player cooperative action-adventure crossover video game. It's basically just the Lego games if they were Funko Pops. I'm pretty sure even some developers on Fusion worked on those previous Lego games. The title is set to be released on September 13th for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, as well as Steam. And then the title hits PS4 and Switch on November 15th. And as you can see, there are just so many different IPs and franchises in this game. From Jurassic Park to Back to the Future, Jaws, Nope, as well as, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's. So like I said, in today's video, we're going to be going over all of the info we have in regards to how FNAF is going to be incorporated into Funko Fusion. Now, our first look at FNAF in Funko Fusion was actually from a Nintendo Direct. Here we can see Freddy Fazbear going up against a boss. We can see a bit of the attack pattern for the boss, Freddy Fazbear jumping over that attack. Here we can also see Freddy Fazbear's pizza oven gun, which is going to be Freddy's weapon throughout the game. So we got Freddy fighting a boss, pop off Freddy, Funko pop off Freddy. Anyways, this is the character select screen. You got all of the Funko Pops lined up on a shelf. And the reason we're stopping here is because just barely in the top right of your screen, you can see Foxy the Pirate. So Foxy's another playable character in Funko Fusion. We have a lot more info on him coming up in the video. Continuing on, we've got Ramona Flowers. We've got some gameplay of the Nope level. And then we have some gameplay of the FNAF level. Here we can see Freddy Fazbear. We got a security camera, which has some electricity going into it. We do know that the gameplay of the FNAF level is actually going to be very similar to the original FNAF game. So we will be able to check the cameras. But we've got everyone up on the stage. Freddy, Chica, we've got Bonnie here as well, rocking his guitar. In the back, we can see the sun. Not from Security Breach, but actually from FNAF Plus. Though they do end up changing that design as we're going to see later on. There's some graffiti on the stage as well. We're bored. Please stay. And then finally for this trailer, we've got Freddy whacking some mummies with his microphone. So it looks like he has a pizza oven gun, which is going to be more long ranged. And then this melee weapon in the form of his microphone. And like I said earlier, San Diego Comic-Con brought some more gameplay of the FNAF level. And I wasn't lying to you, Omni-Man from Invincible actually visits Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. These crossover games can make anything happen, I swear to God. But anyways, we can see the stage looks a lot more game accurate now. Everyone is in their proper positions. Bonnie on the left, Cheek on the right, Freddy in the middle. The design of the sun has been de-FNAF plusified. But that is not all, because we got Omni-Man walking in front of the stage, but then we also have him fighting in the actual pizzeria area. We can see a lot of very interesting details for starters. It looks like they're taking a lot of inspiration from different parts of the FNAF franchise. Obviously, you have the main show area, which is very reminiscent of the first FNAF game, but then you also have these walls and these, like, Air room designs very similar to the FNAF movies pizzeria and then you have some trash bins and cabinets from security breach and then also for a bit of gameplay of course we can see Omni-Man just whacking the heck out of some enemies but then we can also see some items in our inventory a task for the FNAF level in the bottom right and then of course in the top right hand corner we can see 12 a.m on night one as we're going to talk about in a quick second this FNAF level does take place over the course of five nights at Freddy. So I'd assume what that means is there's going to be different waves of enemies and each night, each wave, they're going to be increasingly more difficult, increasingly more enemies to fight off. You can see there's just a handful of enemies here, probably because it's the very first night and it's 12 a.m. The next teaser we have is of Chica and Megan from another Blumhouse movie, Megan. It looks like they're hanging out in a corner somewhere in the FNAF pizzeria. We can see a whole bunch of details from the FNAF wet floor assigned to various FNAF drawings. And then also on that wall, we have another security camera as well as a power module. And then they also showed off a story trailer introducing Eddie, the main antagonist of Funko Fusion. 
I'm not gonna go through the whole story trailer. If you want to check it out, feel free. But we're here for Freddy Fazbear. And actually, if you skip to the very end of the trailer, you get introduced to this. Freddy Fazbear's official jump scare in Funko Fusion. I honestly think for the most part, it's not a bad jump scare. I quite like it. I think it works in the form of a Freddy Funko Pop. But something a lot of people picked up on was the brand new scream. Because we've never heard that before. That's a brand new FNAF jump scare scream. And if you saw my last FNAF news video, you might know where I'm going with this. But in case you didn't know, Kellen Goff is the official voice actor for Freddy Fazbear in Funko Fusion. Where he actually tweeted out, hey, my scream made it in. Let's go. So it seems like that was actually Kellen himself voicing that jump scare scream. And in another tweet where he first initially revealed he was voicing Freddy, he has a bit more to say. Or, 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 or. It is my honor to say I will be officially voicing voicing the original Freddy Fazbear in Funko Fusion. So fantastically grateful, so much to say, but I'm going to save it for the panel at SDCC. Surprises are inbound. And of course, a special thank you to Scott Cawthon for entrusting me with the bear that started it all. It is an understatement to say I'm grateful and humbled to be appointed to the role I've dreamt of filling for eight years. Thank you so much, Scott. I'll give it my all. In another tweet saying, I'll say right now that this version of Freddy is more exact exaggerated and cartoony to match the tone of Funko Fusion, which is so fun by the way, I can't wait for y'all to see what I've seen. And we actually did get to hear a teaser of Kellen's voice for Freddy, but before we get to that, we got a bit more info on Funko Fusion, because to celebrate the announcement, this graphic of Kellen alongside the official Funko Fusion render of Freddy was released, and then in an interview during San Diego Comic-Con, Kellen actually answered a few questions regarding his Freddy voice. He has the base of uh, Glamrock Freddy, he has sort of the gravel of Funtime Freddy or Moon, um, and he just feels kind of like a fusion <laughs> of, of, of all the parts uh, beforehand, uh, at, at least taking little bits of inspiration from each of them. He doesn't actually talk to my knowledge in the game, it's uh, mostly if not all efforts, so I couldn't really explore his speech patterns, but uh, efforts were a lot of fun to do, and I I think he comes off as something different. I hope so. I I just yeah they, I know that fans have been waiting for another original incarnation of, or uh, incarnation of the original. Um, so I'm hoping to do it justice for them. And when Kellen said surprises were inbound for SDCC, he was not lying because during the panel, it was revealed that he's also voicing Foxy. The, the great thing is with working with Kellen was that um, he, he not only does the voice of Freddy, but he also does the voice of Foxy, which is another character that you're going to be able to play as which is cool. And then in another interview after that announcement, Kellen actually demonstrated and described his voices for both Freddy and Foxy. This is the first time I've gotten to play the original Freddy Fazbear and I am so honored to be able to uh, bring my own twist to that. As it is a bit of a cartoony romp, uh, so too are the voices uh, for Freddy and Foxy a bit uh, more cartoony. They take uh, inspiration from uh, Lego games past. Yeah. Freddy is a bit deeper, a bit more gravelly. And since that uh, tends to be Foxy's area usually, I've made him a bit more high pitched, but he's still got that pirate thing. I think most of the efforts are some uh, variant of Yar. <laughs> Yar and Yo-Ho-Ho. Yeah. Yar and Yo-Ho, yeah, that's right for the laugh, yeah. I, lo I love the way you, you describe it. Is it. Could you give us like a little sample a little taste, a little teaser, perhaps? Am I allowed? Of course you are, yeah. <laughs> and then for Freddy is... Um, I love the sound of those voices already, and of course that is Kellen just doing it off the cuff. They're probably going to sound a bit better, admittedly probably a bit different with that studio recording in the final game. But I'd love to know what are your thoughts on Kellen's voices for Freddy and Foxy in Funko Fusion, and here's to hoping that Horror 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 is actually in the game. But now let's finish off this video with a bit more gameplay and information in regards to the FNAF level in the game, because during the panel we got a bit more information 
information on what exactly you're doing in the FNAF level, some of which I've already touched upon, but I'll just let the panel speak for itself. So you're, you're in the security room, you're in the pizzeria, and you're looking through the cameras and you're looking for, you know, you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's, but then you're also out around the pizzeria. We've recreated almost like a, a homage to, to Scott's original game, Scott's original vision, obviously with his blessing as well. Scott Carter. That's the coolest thing about it. It feels like the original game. You are surviving five nights. It gets terrifying, it gets scary, it gets hard. Freddy has this super cool pizza oven gun. Yeah. Right? You're running around like firing pizzas at people. So you can be in Jurassic World, like, and Dilophosaurus is getting pizzas in the head, and it's, it, it, it's, it's amazing. And then, like, Foxy's got this, like, giant cannon, like a pirate cannon. <laughs> like, it, this is just, it, this is a load of fun. So, interestingly enough, it seems like they're actually adapting quite a lot of the original game's mechanics and gameplay into Funko Fusion, and then also allowing the players to walk around the pizzeria, get into some fights like we saw with Omni-Man. It's gonna be interesting to see what exactly gets more difficult, gets scarier throughout the course of those five nights. We do know that we can get jump scared, which I'd assume is gonna be a game over. So I'm wondering if we have to do the typical FNAF gameplay, checking cameras, closing doors, and then after the night's done, go out to the pizzeria, explore, fight some enemies, or maybe we're doing both of those at the same time. And then Lastly, for info during the panel, like we mentioned earlier, Freddy's weapon is a pizza oven gun that shoots pizzas. We also found out that Foxy's weapon is a pirate cannon, which makes sense for Foxy the pirate. But that is going to do it for all of the info we have so far on FNAF and Funko Fusion. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on this crossover? Are you going to be picking up Funko Fusion? Are you getting it just because FNAF's in it? We're definitely going to be playing it here on the channel, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.